Good morning, everybody. How are you? We hope that you're well. For those of you who've been commenting, I have been to the shops twice to look for beard oil and haven't found it. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, but we'll have a trim as soon as we can. Um, I want to talk to you about s small communities based upon mutually independent, high trust relationships. I think by now, many of you who perhaps didn't um, feel it or observe it in the past are coming to appreciate, um, apprehend is the right English word, you know, like you apprehend a criminal, so grasp. Uh, many of you in the past may not have grasped the vital necessity for small communities by, uh, based upon mutually dependent high trust relationships. What does that mean? It means that, uh, well, you may be seeing now for yourselves how necessary it is to have close friends, people who think like you, people upon whom you can rely. And many of you will probably be coming to appreciate how much more that will be the case in the weeks and months that lie ahead of us. Uh, to put it to you this way, um, we Saitlanders in the HQ where we every sort of second or third day, second day, we hold quite high level uh, strategic conversations where scenario planning and risk analysis uh, form a large part, um, have been discussing how um, it was natural that we wouldn't have seen very much consequence. Sorry, this thing keeps rubbing. Um, many consequences to the lockdown in the month of April because people would naturally have been living off their March salaries as they would have anyway. And in May, people would have tightened their belts. They would have saved money by not having to go to work every day in fuel, the cost of the fuel. People would have eaten less meat, for instance. Uh, they wouldn't have bought uh, as much shampoo and toothpaste. They would have used the last of what they had. And in June, we may expect the natural extension of that. Um, in June, we may expect uh, people to, let's say, scrounge a little bit more. Uh, let's say uh, some people will pawn uh, some, some items that have a bit of value for money uh, or sell. Um, uh, people may miss a school fees payment or payment on their, their motor vehicle. And they will get by. We will only really begin to see, begin to see the natural, normal consequences of the massive shutdown of the South African economy in July. Perhaps as late as late July, August. This is normal. This is not abnormal. This is how it was always meant to be. And this is what we've been discussing in the, uh, our HQ. We have daily seminars, usually three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, sometimes Thursdays as well. Sometimes on a Saturday, as with this past weekend. And we're speaking about this a lot, very much. Um, and, and it goes to when, will, when might there be unrest? When might we see uh, the consequences that that we worked out many months ago? And it would probably be around about late July, August. No, not necessarily the full consequences. We're not talking about nationwide anarchy necessarily. However, one thing that is worth mentioning is that the forces of the revolution are clearly setting the table for a crisis. It's clear that the government and other forces are now speaking more vociferously, I beg your pardon, more vociferously about the, the racism of the economy, 
about uh, the injustice and colonialism and three centuries of slavery, if you can even believe it. If you can even believe it, that they would sell, uh, tell such blatant, barefaced lies. So, ladies and gentlemen, to cut a long story short, we are saying that there is a lot more uh, like the Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times. You've all heard that and that 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 saying, that idiom. Um, is it a proverb? I think it's a proverb. Um, there we we have interesting times ahead of us. There are no two ways about it. Not, and we're not talking about years. We're talking about weeks and months. No matter what happens, it's clear that there's going to be a lot of hunger, anger, loneliness in the sense that you, you know people uh, relationships fracture under stress. And tiredness, fed up, sick and tired, in the months and weeks to come, as a result of the, the stuff that you all know, the economic crisis and the shutdown and so on, and as a result of the heightened rhetoric of the government coming particularly, but not only from the president himself, about the racism in the economy and how it's White's fault. And if you're hungry and angry and lonely and tired, well, it's because of them. Uh, we have interesting times ahead of us. That's it. Guys, I hope that you have a, a super day, the best day that you can possibly have under the circumstances. And I very sincerely say that may the Lord bless and keep you in the times that lie ahead of us.